Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss on pulsed field gel electrophoresis and its uses. After completing this video, you should be able to understand what is pulsed field gel electrophoresis and its procedure, principle and lastly what are the applications in various field. Pulsed field gel electrophoresis. It is first developed in 1980 by Schwartz and Cantor. It is a technique used for the separation of large DNA molecules by applying to a gel matrix an electric field that periodically changes the direction. And this technique is closely related to Agarov's gel electrophoresis and the principle is simple pulsed field gel electrophoresis uses an electrophoretic apparatus that separate the DNA fragment ranges from 40 kilo base to 2000 kilo base so it can separate the larger DNA fragment the uses of pulsed field gel electrophoresis there are several applications for the PFGE the main application is that it is used for the separation of large DNA molecules that is greater than 50 kilo base molecular weight molecules can be separated it is used for the strain characterization and development and also used in gene mapping in microbes and mammalian cells. Another application of the pulsed field gel electrophoresis is the evaluation of different microorganisms in clinical samples and in soil and water. It is a standard method in vaccine preparation and it is used in epidemiological studies and to produce DNA fingerprint of a bacterial isolate. The development of the PFGE starts from agarose gel electrophoresis. The DNA is negatively charged and it, its migration in the electrophoretic field is molecular weight dependent that is when the molecules less than 50 kb are subjected to electric current in agarose matrix they migrate at rate inversely proportional to the size that is the size of the dna decreases then the migration rate is faster Okay, so the migration and the size is inversely proportional. But it varies when the molecular weight increases or exceeds greater than 50 kb size. So, this poses a major limitation of conventional electrophoresis or the limitation of microbial analysis it is because of that the bacterial chromosomes are several mega base pairs in size so later pulsed field gel electrophoresis is developed pulsed field gel electrophoresis can separate the dna having larger size Pulsed field gel electrophoresis consists of four steps. First one, cell lysis and release of chromosomal DNA. Second step, restriction endonuclease digestion of DNA. Third step, separation of DNA fragments. Fourth step, analysis of DNA fragment length polymorphism. Next, we can discuss the first step, 
that is the cell lysis and release of the chromosomal dna a pure culture of the bacterial isolate is incubated overnight in nutrient broth to obtain 10 raised to 9 cells per ml or we can use bacterial colony from a plate then add detergents and enzymes to the bacterial suspension example lysostaphin lysozyme etc it is for the cell lysis then mix the bacterial cell with warm liquid phase agarose and the mixture can be pipetted into a plastic mold to form agarose plug okay the mixture of bacterial lysed bacterial cell with agarose is called agarose plugs okay or mold plug then wash with large volume of preheated water at 50 degrees celsius and te buffer the agarose gel matrix keep chromosomal dna and remove the remaining cellular components from the plug next step restriction endonuclease digestion of the chromosomal dna restriction endonuclease enzyme is also called molecular scissors it is used to cleave the double stranded dna at specific enzyme recognition site okay that site is called restriction site once the re recognition site is located the enzyme catalyzes the digestion of the dna at defined position and produces restriction fragments the defined position may be either close to or within the target the choice of the restriction endonuclease enzyme is depend upon the bacterial species used the size and number of restriction fragments produced by restriction endonuclease enzyme is depend upon the frequency of the specific recognition site okay restriction endonuclease enzyme SMA1 recognizes CCC or GGG sequence that cleave DNA of most gram positive bacteria after the restriction endonuclease enzyme digestion the mold plug or the agarose plugs are cut into appropriate sizes and loaded onto comb teeth then the comb teeth is sealed with molten agarose and placed in electrophoresis chamber so this is about restriction endonuclease digestion and the loading of the dna third step separation of large dna fragment there are certain factors which influence the resolution of the dna by pulsed field gel electrophoresis that are concentration of gel and buffer temperature pulsed field conditions pulsed field conditions include switching time pulse angle electrophoresis duration and electric field strength the migration rate vary in tae buffer and tbe buffer this is due to the difference in ionic strength according to the standard protocol the agarose concentration ranges from 0.8 to 1 percentage and the voltage applied is about 6 volt per centimeter the orientation angle is 120 degree 
orientation angle means the angle difference between the two direction is 120 degree angle okay in agarose gel electrophoresis we apply the electric field only in one direction that is in a vertical way from negative to the positive but in the case of pulsed field gel electrophoresis the direction of electric field changes two times the angle difference between the two direction is 120 degree angle okay in pulsed field gel electrophoresis the common problems influence the ability to detect the size of the band include DNA degradation in gel, incomplete digestion by restriction endonuclease and the third one incorrect electrophoresis condition. The DNA degradation in gel is due to the activity of nucleases. Nuclease enzyme degrade the DNA present in the gel and some restriction sites are not cleaved during the digestion process that results in the production of large DNA fragments. These fragments remain in the top of the gel. To prevent it add enzymes and detergents during sample preparation before adding the restriction endonuclease enzyme. And another problem is the incorrect electrophoresis conditions. So these are the problems associated with the detection of DNA band. Then the last step analysis of DNA fragment length polymorphism or the visualization. The DNA fragments in Agarus gel are visualized by staining with ETBR or ethidium bromide so that the DNA can be seen under UV light. A digital camera takes a photograph of gel and stores the picture in the computer. Each line on the gel represents the chromosomal pattern of one bacterial isolate. Those yielding the same pattern should be considered indistinguishable. And 1 to 3 band difference indicate closely related. Then 4 to 6 band difference indicate possibly related. 6 or more band difference indicate unrelated. Okay. Several commercially available software packages provide computerized gel scanning and analysis. Example, Dendrogram. It is a software package and it provides computerized gel scanning for the identification. So this is about pulsed field gel electrophoresis. This figure shows the overall process of the pulsed field gel electrophoresis. First, take the overnight broth culture of the bacteria. Then, the bacterial suspension is treated with enzyme or detergents or any other biochemical agents. So that the bacterial cell wall is degraded and ultimately we get the nucleotides or the DNA that is to be separated. Then the bacterial suspension is treated with melted agarose in low temperature so that the bacteria will not die at that temperature. 
द मिक्सचर ऑफ अगारोस विद द बैक्टीरियल सस्पेंशन इज कोल्ड अगारोस प्लग और मोल्ड प्लग ओके देन द अगारोस जेल मैट्रिक्स इज वाश्ड विद वाटर और टी ई बफर देन इट इज ट्रीटेड विद रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंडो न्यूक्लियस एंजाइम द एंजाइम विच डाइजस्ट द डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए एट स्पेसिफिक साइट एंड प्रोड्यूसर्स रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रैगमेंट्स आफ्टर दिस डाइजेशन द प्लग्स आर कटिंग टू अप्रोप्रिएट साइट एंड लोडेड ऑन टू कॉम टीथ देन इट इज सील्ड एंड प्लेस्ड इन इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस चैम्बर आफ्टर द प्लेजिंग इन इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस चैम्बर electric field is applied the electric field is applied here to separate the dna fragments according to the size dna have negative charge so the negatively charged dna move to the positively charged electrode when the dna starts to align the smaller fragments move faster and the larger fragments move slowly that is the larger fragments stick in the gel at the top okay after the electrophoretic mobility we can visualize these fragments by using uv light after the staining procedure with ethidium bromide this is the another figure which shows electrophoresis conventional electrophoresis or the agarose gel electrophoresis is closely related to pulsed field gel electrophoresis that is both techniques used to separate dna fragments agarose gel electrophoresis can separate dna with size ranges from 1 to 50 kb pulsed field gel electrophoresis separate large dna fragments that is greater than 50 kb size fragments another difference is in is the uh, concentration of agarose used in the case of pulsed field gel electrophoresis the concentration of agarose is less the concentration determines the pore size that is if the concentration is high then it create small pores lesser concentration create larger pores in pulsed field gel electrophoresis we use agar concentration 0.8 to 1 percentage the pore size inside the gel is larger so the larger dna fragments can pass through this gel another difference is in the direction of electric field in agarose gel electrophoresis we apply the electric field in one direction that is from negative to the positive that is top of the gel to the bottom of the gel in a vertical way but in the case of pulsed field gel electrophoresis the direction of electric field changes two times okay there is 60 degree angle difference between the direction and vertical axis otherwise we can say that the angle difference between the two directions is 120 degree angle so the pulsed field gel electrophoresis is the advanced technique of the uh, agarose gel electrophoresis it is used to separate larger dna fragments up to 10 mega base pair dna can be separated 
the performance of pulsatory field gel electrophoresis can be measured by discriminatory power reproducibility stability and typeability this technique can be applied to gram positive bacterial identification and gram negative bacterial identification it is used for the molecular typing of nosocomial pathogens such as staphylococcus aureus and vancomycin resistant enterococci and it is used to examine genetic identity of methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus and it is used to investigate epidemiological relatedness of strains of gram negative bacteria including enterobacter escherichia coli acinetobacter klebsiella pseudomonas salmonella serratia etc and it, it is also used in the epidemiological investigations by national and international surveillance networks so this is about pulsative field gel electrophoresis thank you thank you all